Carlos, congratulations. Obviously, a, a fight that was kind of a, a long time in the making, right? A ton of buildup. How did it play out versus your expectations after all this time? Uh, you know, I, I expected a little bit more exchange on the feet, and it became more of a more of a grappling match. But um, it was still still gritty. I mean, you guys watched it from the outside, so I you know I'd, I'd have to rewatch. Hopefully, it was exciting. Hopefully, you know, people weren't expecting uh, you know some kind of crazy war, and then. You know, there's a letdown because we're just grappling and hugging each other. But, um, you know, who knows? I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> it was still exciting. I, I was curious about that, though, because I think you're right. I think that's the fight people expected, right? And then the first round, you end up on your back, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, did that catch you by surprise? Did it throw you off at all? No, man. You see my fights. I end up on my back all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You did show some grappling, some, some, some solid grappling as well, though. Some, uh, you know, submission at work, uh, some transitions. Were, were you excited to kind of show that tonight? Or, you know, would you have preferred to be standing on the feet the whole time? No, I, you know, I'm, I'm glad the way, or I'm happy the way that it turned out. Um, landed some good takedowns. Um, several, like, kind of a variety of different takedowns. Landed a cool sweep that I've been working. I'm really stoked when I get to do like cool stuff like actually in the octagon that I've been working on for like multiple camps in a row. Okay. Yeah. And I was going to ask you, I mean, two wins in a row now. I mean, that's, it's got to feel good, right? I mean, I know that you were always positive and, and, and you know, kept yourself up, but, but two wins in a row has got to feel good at this point. Hell yeah. I wouldn't say that I was always positive, man. That five, five losses in a row was tough. That was, you know, that was, hey, shit was rough. What's, what's click? Is there anything clicking? I mean, can you put your hand on anything different from those losses to, to the wins? Um, I'm showing up on fight night. I, uh, I, I feel like my preparation was always good, um, but you have to bring it to the moment. You can train and, and be, you know, be in good shape and you look good on the pads and it's sparring, but you got to show up on fight night. You got to be a game day player. And usually I am, and I have been my whole career um, most of the time. And, um, I think that's really the key. It's just I gotta gotta just go in there and just put it on the line. Nice. You know, you mentioned beforehand that uh, this was your last fight on your contract, right? So I guess there's a little bit of unknown on on what's going. Next. What, what do you expect to happen next? I mean, what's your plan? What where do you feel like you're at, and what do you want to see moving forward? Uh, no clue, honestly. I I don't know. Like I have I have a, a few things that I got to get tended to. Um, got to get a few things fixed up. Um, and uh, yeah, I I don't know. I think there there's a lot of variables with all that. Uh, you both kind of made uh, confused faces when they were reading the scorecards. Did you think when they read read thirty twenty seven, were you confident that it was going to be you? Um, yeah. I mean that that first round he was on top most of the time. Um, so I you know some judges may have given that to him. Um, I switched position. And I feel like I I landed more. You know, I, I did more damage, so I guess it just depends on what they're uh, uh, what they're judging on. But I, you know, I think that was a fair, you know, fair score. And uh, that takedown you talked about, that you said you've been working on, kind of uh, lit up social media for a bit. Uh, can you ex can you explain what 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 went down in there? Uh, yeah, it was just kind of a sweep uh, a sweep from Southpaw. I've been working it quite a bit, and you just kind of. I don't know, do a little, uh, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of like a tie sweep. Did, uh, you saw you got props from Nate Diaz on Twitter? I have not even looked at my phone. Oh, hey, I've, been, I've he, been trying to watch the, the fight that's happening right now and do my interviews with you guys. Yeah. Uh, he just said that you and Matt are both beasts and gave you some respect that way. Nice. Are these the sort of fights you want to be in now? Fights with like fellow guys who've been around the, the block and sort of other icons and legends of the sport. Are those ones you want to be in or do you care who you fight i really don't you know it all pays the same <laughs> do you, you know we know that you're going to go have to talk to the ufc about what's coming up next for you do you want to stay in the ufc or are you happy to test the waters and go elsewhere if it needs to be um i love the ufc and i i've you know had an incredible run i've i've grown up you know under the you know zufa and wec and and ufc but you know, we'll just, we'll see. Like, I, I don't know. I can't give you an answer right now. Congrats on the win, man. Thanks. Congrats, Carlos. Thank you. Um, I'm a huge Rage Against the Machine fan. Probably one of the most political bands of our generation, right? But what is it that makes you want to walk out to Rage? Um, there's, I don't know. They're, 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 I mean, it's, it's badass music. It's like a lot of... Uh, 
there's a lot going on, and I don't know, it does it for me. Very cool. Thank you, man. Thanks, guys.